Hey, and welcome back. I'm still sitting here. Third video. Uh, this one will be about a topic that a lot of libertarians talk about. And first, I just want to say, like, as a voluntarist, I consider myself something called voluntarist, which means that I believe that all human interactions should be voluntary. If you don't want to do it, you shouldn't do it, right? Free private contracts, free enterprises, and a free market. That's what I believe in. Uh, and that's not really on the political spectrum. Like, I'm not a left-wing politician. I'm not a right-wing uh, radical in any way. I'm just completely off the politics. I don't care about politics. I'm not a politician. So I don't care about politics. Should, we don't need politics. All we need is freedom and voluntary uh, human interactions in all of society. And I believe that's possible. Um, so, this uh, topic for this video is uh, something that a lot of people say, is like, taxation is theft. And I don't believe that taxation is theft, because it all comes down to your silent acceptance of the ruling uh, system of the state you're living in. Uh, it means, like, by adopting and using the government-issued identity, you're sort of hooking into this system and um, you're, you're driving and you're getting government issued a driver's license to drive on the government approved roads uh, the car is licensed you get your car approved according to the government rules and regulations and all of this and they also st and they also use their money like their fiat currency that the government prints up that's what you're using for your salary for payments and whatever and you can't complain about the government putting rules on your use of that money. Because it's their money, they are issuing the money. So what you need to do, you need to stop using their systems. If you truly want to be free. You need to stop using their identity system and rely on something akin to the decentralized identity system. This is an open and free standard uh, that, you can, that any community and any individual can adopt. Uh, to use as an alternative to the government issued uh, national ID, ident uh, IDs. Another thing is to adopt cryptocurrency, specifically like Bitcoin or, or other things, which is uh, not issued by governments. Not uh, it, it, the government can't control or stop any transactions that happens on on, on Bitcoin. And um, that's just the beginning. Right? If if you start separating your identity maybe even create your own new name right try to disconnect yourself as much as possible and um, that's a good beginning of uh, separate separating yourself so talking about taxation is theft is like uh, it's, it's an oxymoron because you're all already bought into the system by adopting their services, adapting their systems and their infrastructure. And I know of course it's like it's not easy to to build alternatives. It's gonna take a while. But we need to start doing it together if we want freedom. And we need to do this more than just one person alone. If you're just one person alone in an apartment in a city and you're declaring yourself, oh I'm on a free independent individual. I shouldn't follow Norwegian laws. Uh, you're going to get in trouble real quick. There's no doubt about that. But what you need to do, you need to purchase land. You need to own your own property. And you need to be able to prove that you have a stake on this property and that it's your property and you paid for it. That's how you begin. And then you just start separating yourself as, uh, as much as possible. Like if you can get a, a black market job or gray market or do something separate uh, do barter do trade with your neighbors or your friends right instead of using fiat currency do trading of goods and services directly um because that's the main difference between free market and the unfree market is that in the free market there's no third parties in between a trade me and the other guy we trade together and there's no one else involved in the unfree market, which is the government and state issues market, they are a third party who regulates and says you can trade this, but not this, and you need to pay this amount of fee and tax on these and these different products. 
and that's not free market and like the usa market is not a free market uh the european economic zone it's not a free market it's all regulated so yeah taxation is not theft it is basically something you're agreeing to by agreeing to the social contract that the state uh, sort of implicitly is putting over your head and they are putting it over your head and they're, they're educating you in school to accept and understand the system uh, without questioning right but yeah we need to separate ourselves as much as possible okay until next time bye bye